Hello, my name is Jonathan Marks. I'm a biological anthropologist at the University of North Carolina at Charlotte. The science of uh, biological anthropology is a science somewhat different from other sciences. Um, and one of the most difficult aspects of doing this science is the fact that um, a lot of people would like it to be the same kind of science as a person studying fruit flies or a, a person studying moving bodies or something like that. Um, and it's definitionally impossible because we blur the subject-object distinction that is so crucial to contemporary science. You're studying fruit flies. You don't really relate to the fruit fly. There's an intellectual distance between the scientist and the fruit fly, the subject-object distinction. In humans, that subject-object distinction breaks down because we're not humans studying fruit flies, we're, stud we're humans studying humans. If you want to understand human evolution, you have to be an anthropologist, not a biologist, because only part of human evolution is biological. Obviously, it's a significant part. Our brains have grown, at least some of our brains. Um, you know, and we're upright bipedal, and we sweat and do all those other wonderful things that human beings do. But also, um, our primary defining attribute um, is that we're speaking, and we're thinking symbolically, and we're using technology, and doing all these things that other animal species don't do. And if you want to understand how we got where we are, you better come to grips with culture. Um, and that's why we talk about human evolution as being biocultural evolution. And consequently, in my book, um, Why I'm Not a Scientist, um, I discuss this at great length. Even though I may look like a scientist and sound like a scientist and act like a scientist, actually I'm about 98% scientist. Um, uh, what we have to do is recognize that biological anthropology is a different kind of science. We called ourselves physical anthropologists 100 years or so, uh, or so ago. Um, because we were contrasting ourselves, we were studying bones, physical things, um, whereas other anthropologists were studying cultural things, mental things, spiritual things, uh, cognitive things, social things, and we studied physical things. Then for most of the 20th century, biological anthropology defined itself as the scientific study of race where race was supposed to be these natural divisions of the human species. What we learned uh, over the course of the 20th century is that the human species really doesn't come divisible that way. Um, those are, for the most part, social categories. Human variation is primarily cultural, secondarily polymorphic, that is to say, you can pretty much find all kinds of people everywhere, at least 85% uh, of the time. What isn't cultural and what isn't polymorphic is clinal, that is to say um, uh, physical features and genetic features vary gradually across geography. Um, and what isn't cultural, what isn't polymorphic, what isn't clinal is local, that is to say um, uh, related to adaptations to sort of very small uh, regions of, uh, of the world. There is no climate of Africa for Africans to adapt to. There are many, many microhabitats. So the point is, um, that to divide the human species into a small number of fairly discrete groups, which is what race is supposed to be, uh, is an illusion. Uh, it's a, the substitution of social information for biological information, and we've come to realize that over the course of the 20th century. And when we realized that we had gotten it all wrong, um, we thought it might be better to reinvent ourselves in a, in a broader fashion. So now, 98% of uh, uh, physical anthropologists self-identify as biological anthropologists. All the textbooks are called biological anthropology, but our association and our journal is still physical anthropology. We don't know what the hell we are! I just want to say one other word to my creationist friends. Um, creationism sucks, okay? Just get, get real. Evolution. Um, you can have whatever religious beliefs you want, but in schools, it's evolution. Students need to learn evolution in school. They can learn religion outside of school, from their parents, whatever. But the fact of the matter is, we evolved from an ape-like kind of creature over the last few million years. Deal with it. Did I ever tell you about Darwin's unfinished book? The, uh, it was on the uh, evolution of the digestive system, the origin of feces.